Yeah, King Nicky. He is he is the king of Israel, basically. And for good reason. I mean, any chance in front of goal, and I mean any chance in front of goal, he'll he put he will put it on target, put it that way. He's just deadly finisher. Super quick for his age as well. I mean, he's rapid, rapid fast. Pleasure to play with him, obviously, with that Aussie connection. He helped me settle in a lot quicker and sort of teach me the ropes of Israel because it's not like every other country that you go to. There are certain rules and different sort of um, situations you've got to deal with. One of the, the good guys over there to, to sort of hang off and um, you know, get free stuff with as well because every time we go anywhere, we'll be like, oh, Rukovitia, Rukovitia. So yeah, no, it was, it was a great experience and um, you know, I was happy to be able to you know, experience it alongside him on the pitch as well. To give you an idea, on game day, um, you, know, you can actually, you can, I know people say this, but you could feel the energy and the electricity in the air. And we played some of the best football. This is what um, fans have been telling us and people inside the club. We played the best football that we've been playing in, in generations. So it was um, to be able to hear that. And then you get the fans building the energy behind you. And um, when you scored that goal, I think we won it was 5-1 against one of the, their biggest rivals. Every single person inside that stadium was jumping up and down. It felt like there was an earthquake. It was ridiculous. They were the best I played in by, by, by a long way as well. They just live and breathe that, that football club and um, it's their heart and soul. So I think, um, yeah, I can't think of any, any fans off the top of my head that will come close to them.